This is the best copy and paste effects strategy for Final Cut Pro. I'll share two beginner methods for copying and pasting effects that the pros love to use. Oh, and I'm gonna show you how to save your effects as a drag and drop preset. Then at the end, I'll hook you up with a free adjustment layer, perfect for adding effects to a bunch of clips at once. All right, before we can copy and paste effects, we need to add some to our clips. So I'll open up the effects browser over here on the right-hand side by clicking this button or pressing Command-5 to open up the effects browser. Let's go down here to Stylize and let's add Bad TV to our clip. Okay, and then scroll down and let's add this letterbox effect to our clip. With our clip selected, I can just double click on the effect and it gets added to the clip. And we'll select our clip and let's open up the inspector. If you don't see it over here on the right-hand side, just click this button right here with the three sliders or press Command-4 to open up the inspector. And then make sure you're on the Video Inspector tab by clicking this button, and you'll see our effects right here, Bad TV and Letterbox. I wanna change this really quick, there we go. So now we have this cool Bad TV cinematic bars looking video. Okay, so now we have our effects, let's copy them and paste them to this next clip. I'll select the clip that has the effects I want to copy on it, and then I'll go up to Edit, and I'll select Copy, or even faster, just use the keyboard shortcut, Command C. Now select the clip that you want to paste those effects onto, and then go up to Edit and select Paste Effects, or press the keyboard shortcut, Option Command V. And those effects are immediately pasted on this clip. So now both clips match. You can also copy and paste effects to multiple clips. I've got this clip here and I've got a cool effect to it called Film Noir and the Letterbox. And I want to apply it to these two clips. So I'll select my original clip, press Command C, and then I'll select these two clips and I'll press Option Command V and it will immediately paste those effects onto those clips. All right, but what if we messed up and we don't want those effects on there? What can we do? Select the clip you want to remove the effects from and then go up to Edit and select Remove Effects, or press Option Command X, and it will immediately remove all of the effects. And if we look over here in the inspector, you'll see that they're gone. If you want to remove effects from multiple clips, just select the clips you want to remove it from, and then press Option Command X, and it will immediately remove those effects from those clips. What if you want to add some effects, but not all of them, or remove some effects, but not all of them? We can't do it with those shortcuts, but we can do it with the copy and paste attributes. Select the clip you wanna copy the attributes and then press Command C. Now select the clip you want to paste the attributes to and go up to edit. And instead of selecting paste effects, select paste attributes or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command V. It brings up this paste attributes window. At the top, it shows us what clip we copy the attributes from. And then below that, it shows us which clip we're going to paste to. We have video attributes on the left and audio attributes on the right. So I can select which effects I want to paste. Let's say I don't want to transfer bad TV, so I'll uncheck that. I can also copy and paste any changes to transform. Let's take a look at that. Let's go back to our original clip and let's go to transform and let's zoom in or make it a little bit bigger. Now when I copy that and then select this next clip to paste attributes and press shift command V, you'll see that we can transfer scale. So I'm going to uncheck Bad TV and I'll leave Letterbox and Scale. Now this down here is a little bit confusing. If you have any keyframes on your effects, you have to decide if you want to maintain the keyframe spacing and timing exact, or if you want it to stretch to fit the new clip, if the clip is a different length. I don't have any keyframes, so I'll just leave it like that and then I'll press Paste. And now if we select it and go to the inspector, you'll see that the Letterbox is there and our scale changes have been transferred as well. Let's put this back to 100, and we can see our letterbox as well in the viewer. You can also copy and paste attributes to multiple clips. Select your original clip, press Command C, and then select the clips you want to apply it to, and press Shift Command V. Select which attributes you want to paste, and then click Paste. And now we've got the same look as our original clip. Before I show you how to remove the attributes, I gotta know, is this video helpful? Am I doing a good job? If so, will you please let me know by giving it a like? I really appreciate it. In just a minute, I'm gonna show you how to get that free adjustment layer and how to use it to apply effects to a bunch of clips at once. But first, let's remove some attributes. You can also remove certain attributes. Select the clip you want to remove attributes from, and then go up to Edit, and select Remove Attributes, or press Shift-Command-X. And it brings up the Remove Attributes. Just select the ones that you want to remove. I want to keep bad TV, but remove letterbox, and I want to remove 
the scale change that I made. So I'll enable that one and then I'll click remove. And now we have our clip with the letterbox on it, but that bad TV removed and the scale has been reset to 100%. Okay, now let's remove attributes for multiple clips. I'll select the clips I want to remove it from and I'll press shift command X and it'll bring up the remove attributes window. I want to keep the film noir and the letterbox, but I want to remove the scale. So I'll uncheck these two and I'll make sure scale is checked and then click remove. And now we have our letterbox and our film noir effect, but we're not zoomed in or the scale isn't increased. Once you have your effects set up just how you want, you can create a drag and drop preset to use on any other clips in this project or another project. So select your clip that you have the effects in. So I've got a color wheel and a letterbox in here. And then go to the bottom of the inspector and it says save effects preset. Click on that button and now give your effects preset a name. I'll call this cool cinema. And then select a category where you want to save it. Stupid raisins is good. Now I want to decide which effects I want to include in this preset. I'll leave color wheels one and letterbox checked and then I'll click on save. Now I can go to my effects browser and if I scroll down here to the stupid raisins category, I have an effect called cool cinema. And so I can drag and drop that onto any clip and those effects are already made, including the changes I made to the color wheel. You can see all of those changes right there. I can also select a clip and then just double click on it and it will add the effects preset to that clip. Now all three of my clips match. If you want to delete effects preset, just right click on it and select reveal in finder and it will pull it up here and you can rename it by changing the name here. We'll call it cool blue and then press enter. If we go back into final cut, you'll see the name has changed. Let's reveal it in finder again. And if we want to delete it, we just select it and delete. If we come back into final cut. You can see it's gone. Another way to copy effects from one clip to another is to use an adjustment layer. All right, so click on the title browser button in the upper left corner of Final Cut and then go to Layer Pop and then just drag and drop this title layer on top of your clips. Now I can change the duration of it by clicking and dragging on the end of it. And at first that doesn't do anything, but what we can do is we can add effects to this title layer and then it will apply it to anything below it in the timeline. So let's go to our effects presets here, Stupid Raisins, and let's add this cool cinema effect to our title. And you can see it's been immediately added to all the clips below it. What's cool about the adjustment layer is now I can trim it and make it shorter, for example. And you'll see that we don't have the effects here happening on it, but then when the adjustment layer starts, we do have the effects. So you can quickly move and add effects to different sections or parts of your video without copying and pasting them from clip to clip. It's really handy. And if you want this adjustment layer, you can download it for free. I put it in my all-star pack. It's 98 different templates and plugins for Final Cut Pro, including titles, transitions, and effects. It's free. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. Happy editing.